support YouTube. Uh, here we are with another toy food review. Uh, you may have heard uh, Mr. Start up in the background there. Uh, don't mind him. He's here to kindly operate the camera. Uh, this is Guile Dart. Uh, Guile Dart is Magmatron's second in command in Beast Wars Neo. Uh, he is also the opposite number to Long Rack, who you met in the last interview. And today we will not be reviewing him. We will instead be reviewing Captain Shark. There we are. Captain Shark uh, is also by Takara. Uh, he is, rather than being a Transformer, he's from the Brave line, uh, which was produced by Takara in the 90s, uh, when Transformers were in a bit of a lull. As you can see, he turns into a shark-themed uh, thing, some, some form of passenger liner. Um, it could be a submarine, it could be a boat, uh, the engines here suggest it could be a spaceship. Uh, whatever he is, he's covered in artillery. He's got uh, two missile launchers here, one, one shoots a, a harpoon, uh, one fires a hook. Uh, fantastically, he has six posable turrets and two moulded turrets uh, that are either side of the fin. And just in case that's not quite enough firepower, he also has a hatch at the back here where you can lift out a peg to attach this behemoth. This might be why Captain Shark didn't get a Western release. Uh, he has a 16-barreled missile launcher which is simply fired by rotating the bit at the back. And I'll see if we can get one of these out without... There we go! Oops! Daisy, there it goes. Now, you can see from the size of that, that would not be legal. Uh, in a western toy, so that's probably why Captain Shark has uh, never made a western debut, which is a shame because I think he's fantastic, and that's why he's the subject of today's review. Now then, ah. I'll start off by showing you train mode, uh, the feature for all the, the bad guys in Gold Ranch, which is I believe 1997 Brave Line, uh, was that every character could join up uh, with every other character to form a big long train of evil and uh, for Captain Shark he pops out some uh, tank threads there uh, he's got wheels on the bottom already but now he's got some um, lower down wheels um, so that you can install this tow bar underneath him and that connects to other gold Rand villains uh, other fellas would uh, normally be in front it's rather long when fully assembled there's a picture of it in the Brave book uh, which I happily recommend. It's by the same people that make Transformers Generations. And there we go. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of the other characters from Gold Run, uh, so I won't be able to show you much more of that. So, let's have a look at robot mode, shall we? Oh, before we go any further, opening and closing jaws, because he is a shark. I think that's brilliant. Another little unnecessary feature. They didn't have to put in, but they did. There. See? We've got the legs. The arms fold down here. He's got rather a lot of back kibble, does Captain Shark. But I'm willing to forgive it because, well, frankly, it's a, it's a giant robot that turns into a shark pirate ship. It's just so mental, I'm willing to forgive any minor niggles that I'm finding there a less exciting and different figure. Now then, just need to separate these halves. It can be a bit stubborn. Very stubborn today. Come on. Okay. Let's... Oh, you're showing me up here, Captain Jack. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Ah, there we go. Oops. And the background is collapsing. He's got his cutlass. Uh, fantastically clipped inside the tail. Uh, Alright, right. I need to extend the hands. The hands are, of course, inside as normal. There we are, inside the forearms. Pop these out. There we go. There we go. He has some extra heel spurs you can deploy for added stability. Uh, they are for a combined mode, which again I won't be able to demonstrate sadly. Uh, but I can give you a hint of what it contains. Uh, this goes down to which side is there? On that side, so the fin goes over here, the bridge lifts up, there we go, hatch opens, you have to use the, the cutlass to fish out the head unfortunately, it's a bit stiff, there we are, 
on the head. There we are, he's got an eye patch, he's got the uh, German crossbones of uh, space pirates or whatever they are. Uh, he's got his cutlass, he's got his hook, he's got his harpoon, he's got his turrets. Captain Shark is one mean, tooled up bot. Uh, I think it's a crying shame that uh, Captain Shark was never imported with the Transformers line, even if they had to do without the enormous missile launcher to put on maybe something a bit more traditional with longer missiles. Uh, maybe not with the uh, sort of salt shaker ripple fire system. Uh, he's just brilliant. He doesn't have a lot of articulation. He can rotate at the bicep, he can swing out to the sides at to the shoulder. He's got uh, ratcheting elbows and I suppose you could see his, uh, his fists go back and forth as well. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, Brave Toys were not known for their articulation. They transformed and you can be happy with that, frankly. Um, he doesn't combine to quite the extent of some Brave Toys. Uh, there's a big steam train with, for some reason, a rotor that attaches to the front uh, that can lock onto the shoulder here to form a gigantic sort of bazooka. Uh, I don't have him. I think he was available in Argos a couple of years ago. Uh, not some knockoff of it was available in Argos. Um, I don't know if it would have the right connector, of course. But you can still install his massive launcher here to give him more firepower than any rampaging giant robot shark space pirate could ever conceivably need. So there we have it. That's Captain Shark. He's fantastic. Uh, I found him on an online store, or rather I should say uh, Ralph uh, Stardub, my able cameraman, uh, found him on an online store. I don't suppose you remember the URL? No. No, me neither. If I do remember, I'll uh, post it in the comments section. I uh, don't know if they still have any, but it could be worth looking up. Captain Shark is brilliant. Uh, he's a shark, he's a pirate, he's a battleship, he's got turrets, he's got a hook, he's got a harpoon, he's got a cutlass, he's got many, many, many firing missiles. He's just great. What he lacks in articulation, he makes up for his features and sheer off-the-wall barminess. I love it. If you love it as well, go out and get one. He's great. And that's about all I have to say. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. We decided to end uh, this video with a short what-if scenario uh, facing off a Transformer of the Time against Captain Shark. What would have happened if G2 Megatron had come across Captain Shark in the course of the G2 comic series while running about trying to gather super weapons to fight the Cybertronian Empire? Let's find it, shall we? Right. Ah, ah, no, ah, ah, and Megatron stands firm. Ah. So it just goes to show quality, not quantity, is the order of the day when it comes to missiles. Let that be a lesson to everyone. And that's Toy Fu signing off.